Hello boys and girls! Today we will tackle the bridge that leads up to this gorgeous tower. So I have been um, working in a creative world to come up with a design that I'm uh, comfortable with. Um, yep, and we will have um, three white paths leading up to this uh, massive door here and uh, of course the bridge will be a bit wider and um, there will be uh, uh, two arches for the bridge supporting the bridge and uh, if we have a look over there I have built up the terrain a bit, but I'm not sure if uh, that uh, stays like this. Uh, it basically depends uh, on uh, how the uh, arches come together. So first let's get rid of this. Um, maybe let's place first I will do the middle blocks here first um, they will be uh, refined a bit but basically this will give us uh, the guideline where the where the bridge will uh, go uh, yep and then we can get rid of uh, this six section here so and with that I would say let's get down to uh, building this thing as you can see I installed the replay mod and also updated the Optifine that got rid of the uh, nasty rendering effect in the fog and there you can already see the first booboo I made the wall at the castle is one two less wide I fixed that uh, but then uh, the gap between the pillows are only seven apart and I intended it to be uh, nine apart but with regards to the uh, closeness of the cliff on the right side I think this works uh, out better uh, otherwise we would have uh, uh, basically only uh, one arch that's basically on the uh, other side of the cliff and this way we can have at least two arches uh, that go into the cliff a bit and then uh, here on the top coming up with uh, with details and uh, that I also had to adjust then uh, uh, because of the, the width and the uh, curve of the arches uh, uh, changed a little bit. So I tried to come up with something that breaks up the uh, flatness of the sides uh, but also adds a bit of uh, magic with this uh, illuminated sky, uh, slime blocks and I think it turned out uh, uh, pretty good though I have not yet seen it uh, in the night though I will definitely have to have a look at it and I'm glad I did this in a creative world first because this build took me 90 minutes and uh, preparation there took maybe another an hour and uh, here I'm taking out the leaf of uh, Green's book, decorating with uh, anvils to get more depth. There we have it. It's finished. It might need a bit of tweaking, especially for the path. Uh, but I think this came out quite well. So if you enjoyed this video, please consider leaving a like and subscribing so you miss not the next one. And I will see you in the next one. Bye!